All right, guys, quick update um, for you guys today. It is what? Tuesday, September 19th. Thanks, Maddie. Uh, so Maddie and I are here just knocking out all the, the normal day-to-day, -day, or normal, kind of normal, but back to dance time, all the day-to-day -day stuff that um, kind of playing catch up from each night and trying to take care of all the transfers and questions and things that have come up from the night before. Uh, but we have two contractors in the building. We've got locksmiths down the hall. Um, they just continue to take keys out of doors like we talked about uh, or take the cores out of the locks um, and they're kind of doing it in sections taking it back to their shop rekeying bringing them back so they're going to continue on with that and then the other really exciting thing we have going on um, is the electricians you can see his feet right there uh, but um, what they're working on is getting us power up in the ceilings to all four of the viewing monitors. So that's just gonna help. Have, I can show you this mess here. Um, two of the viewing monitors didn't have power to them at all yet, so we knew we needed to do that. But we thought this through. Uh, that's just not really a permanent fix. And so um, they're gonna go ahead and take the, take the power up or grab some power from somewhere in the, the ceiling that's already there. I'm not sure how it works, but somehow getting it up there and then the cords and everything will just be able to kind of be behind the TV and run up instead of running down. So this one's like that too. So we got to have a more fix um, for that solution, obviously with so many kids and, and different people in and out. Um, you know, something like that is just an accident waiting to happen uh, as far as somebody tripping on a cord or just unplugging it or something like that. So we're getting that taken care of. Um, you know, it's just always working with everybody's schedules and trying to get everybody in at a time um, that works for them. You know, yeah. So it's just a continued um, lesson in patience when you have that many moving parts. And yeah, anybody who's ever done a, a large remodel project understands that that can happen. So Maddie and I are going to keep working on our stuff and be available for them when they have questions as well. Uh, I do have a few meetings off-site this afternoon. Then I'll be back uh, in the office this evening to help just make sure everything's off and running for the night. So that's what we have going on here today. Um, you know, it'll be nice <laughs> at some point here, uh, hopefully in a few weeks, when during the day we can 100% focus on, you know, our students and families and making those transfers and adding classes for people and answering questions about new opportunities coming up um, without, you know, the ladders and stuff during the day. But, but this stuff has to get done. And again, it's just part of construction going over. Um, in that way, it's kind of to be expected, right? So that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. Um, lots of reminders for staff too. So other studio owners that are watching this um, and going through this or going going to go through this soon. Um, just, I probably didn't set it an, aside enough time to really follow up with everything. So, you know, at the end of every night, checking everything and giving feedback on um, this morning it was probably uh probably a good hour to hour and a half of my time spent this morning just checking things and providing feedback to different people we got some street cleaning or something happening out there don't we um providing feedback to different staff to clarify things you know here's the schedule or make sure you're looking at this or double check that or at the end of the night, remember your closing system, whatever it is. Um, but by the time you follow up with multiple different people about multiple different things, um, that's gonna take some time. So I wish I was able to just like have a white, white out schedule this week. Uh, unfortunately, that's just not where we're at as a business. Our business manager's out right now um, because of hip surgery. And <laughs> we you know, have this move that is happening uh, about five weeks later than what we, we had planned and wanted it to. And so it just is, it just is what it is. Um, 
but I would, if at all possible, try to schedule yourself some time um, for, for that because it, it's taken some time. And the thing is, probably turn around tomorrow and, you know, do the same thing. So, uh, but again, it's worth it. Um, it's really important to me that, that everybody has the same experience, you know, on one night, one day people don't come in and everything's kind of disheveled and chairs are all moved around and uh, the furniture's dirty and then whoever works that night cleans it and then the next day is people, you know, walk into a really clean waiting room. Like, those are the things that just I don't, aren't okay with me. I want everybody to, like, really feel like it's the same, they're getting the same experience and the same care uh, every night of the week, every class. Um, so, yeah, anyway. We gotta just keep following up and keep making sure that the expectation is clear, right? Of who's doing what and how we make that happen. So that's been my morning. And like I said, then I have to go off site for um, some meetings and then I'll be back. So I'll keep you posted um, with what they get done today, but I'm not sure um, you know how exciting it's gonna be because it's just those two working and there's not a ton of exciting stuff but I will for sure keep you posted all right all right see you in a little bit guys all right guys quick uh, update to the vlog this afternoon before classes start sorry my hair's a little crazy right there um, so electricians have done quite a few things around um, and now he's out there looking at the monument sign because for some reason that's never lighting up uh, when all the exterior lights come on so He's taking a look at that, but um, locksmith should be back. He took more cores out, um, I think from uh, kind of down, down the hallway and then upstairs, I believe. He took some cores out and um, should be bringing those back. And then, how nice these TVs look now. So, got that all taken care of. Power's now run to all of them. Um, we do have to have Spot TV come back and get the boxes on um, these TVs that didn't already have the Spot TV boxes on. But yeah, so looks really nice. All right, quick update. So the electricians are out working on that sign. Um, all of a sudden I see the van coming through and getting closer to the sign. That's probably not a good sign <laughs> that, they, that they had to pull the van up to the sign. I'm guessing maybe there's a little bit more to it than just oh a switch needs to get switched or something so um yeah take a look at what they're doing now looks like they might be doing something with the back panel opening that up taking it off not exactly sure so yeah all the things all the things um yeah so they're still working and the locksmith is not back yet, so hopefully he'll, he will be back soon as well. Um, but trying to take advantage of at least a few minutes of quiet here, um, going through some, some different things and catching up on some things. So uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. Looks like the monument sign might, might need a little bit more, a little bit more work than, than what we thought maybe, don't know. They're, they seem to really be looking at it, so. I don't think that's uh, that's the best sign for the sign, but we'll we'll see. So, all right, guys, I'll probably update you one more time. Um, hopefully, the sign will have an update with that, and also locksmith should be back, and we'll have a better idea of kind of how far along he is in the project and what is left to be done, uh, or if we're we're getting pretty close. He wanted to be done today. I can't remember if I mentioned that yet or not, but that was kind of his goal. Um, there was quite a bit to do today, and just like with anything else, uh, being a locksmith, as people lock themselves out of cars or lock themselves out of their homes, then he has to step away from stuff like this to go help them, uh, which makes total sense, but his intentions sometimes, right, are, uh, I'm going to get this done today, um, but it's really hard to do that when, um, you know, when things pop up all the time and you kind of have to go go to the more urgent things as well so all right guys i will keep you updated hopefully we'll have a, a good update 
regarding the sign here in a little bit. All right. Hey guys. So it's a little late. I, um, I was laying in bed and was going to upload the vlog for tonight. And then I realized that I never really finished it. <laughs> so we're going to do a quick little update and wrap up of what happened, um, this afternoon from the last clip that you just saw. So the electricians did come back in then and update me and they said, it looks like there's power to the sign, but for some reason it's not working. And they were having a hard time really getting like full access to the sign. So I need to follow up with our sign people, see how they're supposed to get full access to the sign. Like, is there a trick to how you actually get fully in there? Um, and then they were going to take a look at it once they're able to get access to it. So hoping that it's maybe just bulbs or something related to the bulbs versus ballast, but we'll see. Um, and then, so that was the sign, um, the locksmith, he, uh, is mostly done. Uh, he didn't come back until like right before classes started. So I wasn't able to touch base with him much. Um, he did just by me walking around then later, he did get a bunch done. And so I had to go pick, pick up. He left like individual keys in, in some doors. So I had to go pick those up. Um, I have a huge stack of keys like in post-it notes <laughs> so that I know what's what right now. Um, the key tags are on order from Amazon. So he did do that, but there's still some that, um, there's still some that are not, uh, rekeyed yet. And so I'm not exactly sure if he just missed them and forgot, or if he knows he's coming back tomorrow. So I will check in with him tomorrow morning and we'll see what the plan is. Ah, uh, and what else? There was something else. Oh, oh yeah. In the midst of everything. So I had a some different Zoom meetings and, and phone calls lined up for this evening. And uh, the first one started at 4.30, and it was a really important, really, really important meeting. Um, and <laughs> it's like, well, 4 o'clock, the um, locksmith comes back. So I'm talking with him, trying to figure all that out. And then about 4.16, Spot TV calls and says that our Denver location has called them and said that their viewing monitor is down. But it's not just Denver. They think it's Cedar Falls too, so they'd like us to turn the viewing monitors on and check. We just hadn't done it yet. We were about to. And so we turn the viewing monitors on, and sure enough, they're, they're not working. And so it's literally 417, 418, and he's like, okay, so I need you to go in go in and unplug this and reboot this and do all of this. And I, you know, I'm just like, I'm crawling around on the floor in my dress and trying to figure all this out. Um, but trying to make sure that I get to this meeting at four 30, right. That I know is really important. And so anyway, I just, um, at the time, you know, was kind of frustrated, but now looking back on it, it's just kind of funny. Like you just can't make this stuff up. Um, the crazy stuff that happens. And, and like I said, I'm just, I'm vlogging, um, to, to let you guys all know what's going on. Um, but also to go back five years from now, 10 years from now and remember, you know, just kind of all those little crazy things that happen that you're going to forget. And so, um, I just want to remind myself of those, <laughs> those moments where, um, just things just, sometimes it feels like the world is like against you. And it's like, you know, in your head, that's not true. There's, there's no way that that's true. Right. Um, but in your, in your head, you just think, gosh, it, it seems like it, like it legit feels like it sometimes. Um, but in those moments you have two options, you either push forward and keep going and say, I can do hard things. Right. Or that's, you know, you give up and, you know, for me, giving up has just never been, never really been an option. So I am going to take the day. I'm going to go in in the morning, get everybody started, get, get things underway. And then I am going to come home and work from my home office tomorrow. 
um, some and so that I can I can really get focused and get some stuff done. Uh, so I am looking forward to that. And so sometimes I guess what I'm saying is sometimes we just need um, uh, to step back and, and give ourselves what we know we need. I'm an introvert. I uh, probably have ADHD undiagnosed, but in all seriousness, I cannot focus when there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, and so uh, I do really, really good work when I'm by myself and I can focus. And so you've got to set yourself up for success sometimes too. So thankfully I've got, um, you know, Maddie who's, who's coming into the building along with some other staff, um, have been coming in during the day a little bit too, to help. And that has been super helpful. And then, um, probably locksmith tomorrow, but I don't think probably anything else. So um, she should have a, a decent day there. And like I said, I can get everybody started and get everything underway. Um, and then hopefully get some focus, focus work in, uh, which needs to, which needs to happen as well. So yeah, kind of another, kind of another crazy day of just sort of meeting after meeting after contractor, after issue, after question, <laughs> and just not a lot of deep work getting done, but um, we'll get there. We'll get there. So again, the, the bigger the project, I actually told one of my staff members this tonight, um, you know, the bigger the project, the bigger the patience. Um, I think the bigger the life that you're living, the more people that you're interacting with or the more people that you're, you are positively impacting, um, there's just, there's more moving parts and there's going to be more, um, more things that, that pop up. And, um, you know, I have to remind myself that I wanted that. That was something I was after. So, um, I definitely, definitely got what I asked for. Um, if, if not more, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's all good in the end, you know, especially when it's all for something that you believe in and something that, you know, changes lives, it makes it all worth it. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to upload this now and um, probably won't vlog tomorrow. So maybe a few days until we've got some, some fun stuff to show you. All right. Bye, guys.